Hi to hi to all my lovely Gemini campers. How are you doing today? Lovely to see you. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to Gypsy Heart Tower with me, Govinda Dean. Um, today we are looking at your forecast for the month of February 2023 for anyone who has a um, Gemini sun, moon or rising sign this video is for you remember we uh, exercise free will and choice and our own discernment so the messages here are general and they may not resonate with you so feel free to choose and uh and embrace the messages that do and allow yourself to let go of any messages that don't resonate with you that's completely fine let's allow ourselves to spirit before we begin and say thank you universe for helping me clearly share insights with my Gemini campers today in a way that will support their greatest good and for the highest good of all. We are all deserving and so it is. And I am a Gemini sun, so this could be interesting. Okay, let's take a look at our first card, which is your passions, actions and inspirations for the month of February 2023. What do you need to know about that? Okay. So we can see here that we have the Hierophant. Okay, you're in a teaching role this month. This month is, uh, and this is very apt for me as well, by the way, but also for Gemini's um, watching today, this is your energy. So your passion is to teach, your passion is to guide, and your passion is to connect through meditation to your higher self. You're inspired to lead and guide people through the path that you are on and to also help them join you on this path because not because you want fame and fortune but it's because you know the benefit of this path and what you've done so far to get on this path of enlightenment on this path and raising your vibration and you want others to join you in their own path to enlightenment and raise their vibration because you know the benefits it has so you're sharing what you already know you're sharing your wisdom in a way that can help guide so being a, a spiritual um, guide um, this month is something that you are probably leaning towards for other people and this can be in different ways can't it maybe people are coming to you for advice what can I do here what can I do there and it's important to remember that you know you can guide people through um, what you know yourself through experience, you know. Um, and people are coming to you um, for instruction in different areas of their life, you know. And they're placing their faith in you um, because you may be a, a very well-trusted friend or family member or colleague. And, you know, they trust you for a long period of time. So it's those people not random people but people who you know well and trust you and you trust each other they know that they're going to get good advice from you good guidance and a well-balanced uh, viewpoint you're not going to sell them what you think you're going to help them understand what is best for their journey and their path yeah <laughs> so your passion is really to help others and maybe you're seeking this guidance yourself maybe you're looking for a higher level of understanding yourself you're wanting to raise your vibration and it's important to, to tap into and connect with maybe a spiritual teacher a mentor or someone for yourself this month who can help you on this path because maybe you know you're doing well but maybe you need you know we all need a bit of guidance and support and mentoring sometimes in our journeys and maybe this is a month where you do you could look at improving your meditation practice improving your raising your vibration and seeking that guidance um, and really these age-old traditional practices like uh, like yoga uh, yogic spirituality meditation these are centuries old for a reason because they are relevant and they still work so it's those sort of age-old traditions that are really gonna help you feel grounded and supported especially if you Gemini's who tend to be flying all over the place being very busy um, this is going to help you feel very grounded very much connected and this is going to be a way uh, for you to be able to communicate others especially if you do have a teaching role or some sort of guiding role in your life this is going to help you to be a better guide be a better teacher or a better leader and people will resonate and listen to you more um, 
by you yourself continuing don't forget to continue your journey in raising your vibration seeking that higher knowledge and existence through spirit and the divine uh, we can tend to put ourselves in the back burner we need to bring ourselves to the forefront on our own journey this month okay let's look at the next card which is your thoughts communications and your plans for the month of february what do you need to know about those let's have a look what's coming in for you on your thoughts plans and communications okay so thoughts are changing february is a, is a month where maybe your ideas are changing uh for the better i hasten to add change is inevitable for you in february uh, you're communicating and maybe plans are changing maybe what you thought you were planning towards is now taking a shift and things are changing you're able to have a rebirthing moment in February so things the way you communicate changes so like old habits are now ending and new uh, beginnings are there for you so maybe the way you communicate uh, hasn't been very um effective up to now and moving forward that's going to be so different and so better and more likely because you're connecting through your heart space through the meditation um spiritual guidance that you're giving and receiving you're connecting more to the divine source to within the inner uh, divine of yourself so really there is like a feel like a rebirthing in february happening for you where you're communicating through the spiritual plane through sp with spirit and the divine and through that lens through that voice to others as well so your communication with others is going to change and they're going to notice it and they're going to oh and it's a good thing it's like oh something's different something's changed but i love it you know and wow i could i they people will notice the, the difference um in february and this is probably why you're going to get those downloads um which i got you know from the akashic records and thing which are going to help you understand maybe your plans need to change maybe what you thought your role was or what you're doing in life is developing and you have a rebirthing moment and things are changing and your thoughts of the world or the universe or your thoughts on something more spiritual um is is able to to shift um not holding on to old ideas letting go of old ideas that no longer serve and inviting and embracing new ones um new thoughts new ways of communicating uh communicating in a more spiritual psychic way um is also there for for uh february you know and it's allowing uh things to be left behind that no longer work in order to regenerate uh your existence and yourself here so it's important to not fear change because all things have to come to an end and things are um the beauty really does lie in transitioning and this is a very transitional month for you uh gemini okay and it's important to also stay on track with your duties and don't neglect people or you know uh people who pay for your services or people who rely on you to turn up or show up at an event or something like that don't be unreliable this month you know don't turn away from your duty um and don't be negligent really you know and really the inevitable is here do not delay it this is a month to really make those changes happen um because if you do delay the inevitable it can threaten uh your own path moving forward your own future and the process of that so change is coming and it's better to deal with it now than later on because that could affect your journey could make you following your path a lot slower a lot less effective maybe looking at your next card which is your connections personal interactions and relationships for february Ooh, <laughs> cards are lively about that one <laughs> let's see what do you need to know about your connections personal interactions and relationships for the month of february 2023 okay so we have here okay things are looking very abundant things are looking very successful um, and it's also because you feel very much it's kind of like you've gained some independence within the relationship some autonomy which is important because when you're in a relationship you do want 
uh, to feel connected, you want to feel part of a team. But there's also moments when we do need to have our independence, we do need to feel that we are valid and you're definitely in February able to contribute more financially to your relationship. You're in a space where your work, your job, your performance is, you know, doing really well individually because, you know, even though you're married in a partnership, whatever goes on with your relationship, what's going on is you don't like to rely on, on other people for money. And this month, you're in such a good place now where you feel, you know, that you don't need independence, but it's good to know that you have your own money coming in and that's working well and you, you're paying your bills. And probably it looks like that in February, you're able to finally, you know, in the relationship, you're able to start making contributions um, financially to the household bills again, that kind of thing. Um, you feel stronger and more confident in yourself, in your work and your abilities to earn money or earn more money very abundant very much the kind of amounts that we're looking at is you know being able to independently rely on yourself and not rely on your partner or your husband or wife so much for the investment or the money so if you're in a self-employed situation this is means that the return is amazing and it means that yes you can if you needed to stand on your own two feet not saying you need to everything is abundant so in the relationship everything is going well you're paying your way things are going well your 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 venture your business if you run your own business that is really paying off this month your work if you're working uh employed you have confidence that things are going really well things are looking great you are your own energy and you're comfortable with who you are and how you express yourself through the work that you do um, and connections with um, family members as well is very stable and secure and also people now in your personal space so intimate friends family members and your relationship partners or lovers are seeing you thrive are seeing you now in your proper skin in your energy and loving it you know it's like you're having a sun month as if we were in gemini uh, season which we're not but you are getting this energy of I am really being myself right now and I'm doing so well and successful and things are sustainable and things are looking good for the future and this just helps feed this success and this abundance that you have to create a uh, success for yourself is also feeding into the relationships and creating success in a relationship you feel much more confident in the relationship you know money does isn't the be all and end all but it does affect a relationship it does affect family relationships or connections or connections with other people based on if you have or haven't got it right so this is definitely um an energy uh, that feels very much more secure in your position in the relationship as well and the relationships uh feel very abundant and successful as well so all connections and relations to work really well which is great for you <laughs> for gemini's yeah Let's have a look at your work and finance and health. What do you need to know about that for February 2023? Opportunities are coming. It's time to make plans. There are opportunities that you're looking out to, that you're still, you know, entrepreneur, Gemini. If you're starting your business or you're expanding your business, it's time for moving. It's time for play making those plans for expansion, making those plans for a new project, um, something that you are passionate about and that you're really desiring. Um, if you are employed, you might be considering a new opportunity, uh, maybe a, a new career or something, uh, a new position in the company or new, a new company completely. Look and plan for that opportunity because you are looking out into the world and going hmm i'm not quite content with what i'm doing right now and probably could could do with something else and so it's time this month to really investigate and make those plans as to what that is what is it that you're passionate about what is it that you really want to put your energy um into finance is also looking very uh positive that make again making plans for how you can succeed because it all feeds into each other doesn't it? the work and finances and your health all feed into the same thing so you're given opportunities to really find the your way forward for a better future for in your work for better financial situation and definitely a better health as well because it all kind of feeds into each other so 
it's time you know things are looking bright for the future things are looking positive have a positive outlook and know that if you seek you will find if you're not happy where you're working or your financial situation look for a solution look for something better look for a better paid job or the work that you do you can be paid more for if you're self-employed you just need to raise your prices or plan some things maybe subscriptions or do some kind of um something where for what you're doing you if you're self-employed you could charge more for and this is opportunity of improving the value of what you offer and the finance and also it helps with your with your own uh, health as well when you know that you are being appropriately um, compensated for the effort that you're putting in right And any plans that you have been making recently, they're coming, they're getting there. You know, they're in motion in February. They're starting to, to get to get moving. Okay, so it's important to look not just to the now, but to the long-term goals. Okay, this is where I am now. This is what I'm doing now. But is this sustainable? Is this something that I want to be doing at the end of the year? Where am I going for the rest of the year? If there's something else that you're aiming for in the long term, February is the time to start looking to that and making those plans for that, you know. Um, and also there is a, you know, Gemini's, you do like a bit of a risk and there is a risk element in this. So careful planning helps to combat the, the scariness uh, of, of the risk, you know, and enjoy discovery. Enjoy discovering what a new path could be, bring or expanding your path or changing uh, your path. Um, there's a lot of change and development, something new coming in for you, you know. And maybe you need to step outside of your comfort zone. The future is a bit unknown. Not quite sure how things are going to turn out. And that can be scary. But like I said, we need to be able to kind of just embrace the change. Embrace the positive change with a positive outlook. Things can go even better for us when we make a change and we're raising our vibrations. There's a lot of things that are moving and shaking in our life in February at the minute, Geminis. So really um, remember that you're only hindering your own growth if you stay in your safety zone if you stay with what you know and what you're comfortable with sometimes we do have to put ourselves in an uncomfortable situation outside of the box outside of our comfort safe space to be able to embrace positive change um, and growth otherwise we may be hindering growth if we always stay with the same practices the same type of things you know so important to embrace something new as well this month let's take a look at your spirituality your defining life lessons and themes for february 2023 what do you need to know about those areas of your life that wanted to come out so the queen of swords so again it's looking forward isn't it queen of swords is embracing the the kind of uh, energy that we're embracing um is carefully orchestrating your plan so it's not rushing around doing anything and everything without any clear strategy it's really have a strategy as to your path moving forward from now things have been successful things are going to continue being successful people are supporting you people are celebrating your success changes are needed in how you do things uh, in order to make them better you are looking at improving you're being guided by spirit and the divine to know what that is or how to make adjustments not necessarily maybe anything radically new just maybe changing adjustments on what you're doing to make it better especially as you do want to improve things for the future for the long term so it's time now to start looking at that and really we do have to have a strategy you know we can't just oh i'll do this now or i'll do that we need to have a clear strategy well i'm doing this because that does this and that feeds into that and then we go there so there's like a step by you know like a flow chart so there's a step by step um action which leads to your ultimate goal so we do need to break things down into more manageable goals but they ultimately need to be leading to a bigger goal so it's like a strategy plan isn't it um be very clear and direct with your communication be very clear with um your your life and what you need to learn is yeah you I mean i'm a gemini and you might be waffling <laughs> you might tend to talk a lot and not say much so maybe we need to be a bit more concise with what we say and, you know, not talk so long. Because the the Mercury energy, the Mercury planet makes us want to talk a lot. And we could, you know, hurt our throat chakra by communicating too much. 
So we also need to maybe be a bit more concise, but straight to the point with things. That is a lesson that we kind of need to learn to not waffle on and say a lot of things, but actually just saying the same thing again and again. I know I do. I know I probably repeat myself a lot. So <laughs> apologies for that if, if anyone notices that. Um, uh, it's important to maintain that clarity. So the work that you've done, the lesson and the things that are really going to change your life, uh, especially in a spiritual, spiritual sense, don't let other people's energies that you come into contact with allow you to muddy and complicate what you've done. What you've achieved is amazing and you're carrying on and you look into the future positively with uh, an, a plan of action, with a strategy. Don't let other people's energy, for whatever reason, for their demands, for their wanting to connect with you, because you're going to be in a space where people are going to want to listen to you, right? You're being a leader of some kind. Don't uh, allow others to muddy that energy and make things di more difficult than they need to be. Um, you do belong to shine. You do belong to be in charge. And you do want to care for people. And you, it's saying, hey, care for your plans and your communication and what you see coming. Care for your future, your future path, because the now is the time to learn about what that is. You know, so really lessons really is allowing not allowing negativity or difficult energies to affect your spiritual energy, your what you've achieved with raising your vibration, can opening your spiritual path, making the necessary changes in your life. Don't let other people's energies affect that really. You know, be very clear about where you're going and what you're doing. <laughs> Let's have a look at your voice of the heart for the month of February, what does February, uh, what does your heart voice want to tell you for February 2023? Okay, oh, that was a short, <laughs> that was a shortcut. The star card, beautiful. There's hope, hold faith and hope that you are moving towards the light. You are, if you have had difficulties, the change is positive. Your foresight of the future is very much, I am aiming to a win. I'm aiming for the stars, aim for the stars. When you're making a plan, don't sell yourself short. Don't, if you like, for example, like a financial plan. Oh, I want to earn 20,000 this year. Reach for the stars, go for the big one. What would you like to earn this year, for example? Oh, I'd like to earn half a million. Good, okay, go for it, go reach for the star. Go for the big amount, and in trying to get an aim and look to that amount, you're going for, say, 500k, right? Okay, you don't achieve it, but what do you achieve in that process? 200k, perhaps. Well, that was better than you trying to plan for 20k, wasn't it? So, aim for the stars. Be positive. Look. Have the faith and confidence that you are moving towards the light. You are moving to positive and things are coming through for you. It's been difficult for you in the past, recently, but things are coming true and right for you now. So really aim for the stars and really connect with home, which I, I call home, the stardust energy we send from, from stars. So connect with that home energy and know that you're meant to succeed. You're meant to shine. Let, allow yourself to shine. Don't sell yourself short. Don't hide yourself away. Your heart wants you to shine bright because you are the beautiful energy that by you shining like a star, not only do you know and have the confidence in yourself um, and these changes in you make you shine brighter. Let your heart shine brighter and you will be that guide for others. You'll be that guiding starlight for others to follow. Not to follow what you do, but to follow so that they know where they're going. It's like a navigation, isn't it? And I've always called myself a navigator and you kind of like navigate, helping people navigate through the dark, their own darkness by you shining brighter. So it's important, Gemini's this month that you shine your brightest because you're able to help guide others in darkness. Oh, there's there's a star. I need to follow that, that star because it's gonna help me find my path, you know? Whatever path they're on, they will be guided by your bright light, just by you being you, not directing them in any particular way just by you being your beautiful shining star self you are helping others guide their way so let your heart let your soul 
and your heart space shine bright share that love and that positivity and you will give hope to yourself and you will also give hope and faith to others and that's your main task this month really is through the heart give hope and faith to others who are also in darkness in a difficult time in their life um you can help them with that and believe in your inner light believe that you know the hardships that you've endured are coming to an end and they only make you shine the more brighter the, the more hardships you have had the brighter your energy is and that is important to remember as well it all serves for a purpose doesn't it okay and as long as you keep believing in yourself and in your abilities and in your own spirituality whatever that may be and that your plans are you know are going to come true you know this year whatever you're planning you're doing february make those long-term plans for the rest of the year and reach for the stars anything you're looking to develop or do in the career sense do it you're reaching for the stars it looks like a big big success for you moving forward and not necessarily in february but things are looking brighter and better because you are shining your light much brighter in February. Okay, thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope that resonated with you, my lovely Geminis. I know it did for me. Uh, remember, if you would like to expand on this reading or have any other question you'd like to answer, you can uh, book a private reading at my website, uh, govindadeen.com. You can also um, watch my live reading sessions if you'd like to join any of those. I'm on every day. And also, um, have a lovely rest of the day. Give me a like and a, a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps my channel to grow and share the, the love and light. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Love and light to you all. Let's have a wonderful rest of the month. See you all in the next one. Bye bye my loves.